I recently got a call from my mom, and she said she had a job for me to do. And despite being super busy watching TV and eating potato chips, I immediately went over to see what she had in store for me. This just goes to show you how amazing I am, and how humble I am. In fact, I'm probably the most humble person that you'll ever meet. Fortunately for me, my folks just live a few miles away, so I can zip over to their place whenever they call or whenever I want to raid their fridge. So I drove on over and I hung out with my parents for a while, and my mom told me what she wanted to have done. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> what we're doing is we're going to take this um, and this is out, and we're going to... Make it so it's not a two-step process, but a one-step is to pull this out. Oh. Instead of having to do this and that. Because I oftentimes have something in my hands, and sometimes both hands, and it's just cumbersome. So I guess the question is, what are we going to do with your hardware? Because if we take this off, you're going to have a hole there right. if we relocate that up here. Well, Would you want the knob here in the center? No. I think I'd like to have something like this, only whiter, because I want to be able to put a towel on it. And it oh. would be a big, it would be longer, because that would even be more convenient to grab, you know, from the sink there and have a towel hanging on. It's about 17 and a half. And it's not as deep. Oh, that's pretty far back there. 15 inches from center to center and it's oil rub bronze. Perfect. I think that's the one. And it's 10% off. Well, mm. there it's you go. a sign. It's a okay. sign. Okay. So that's the one we want. Then how do we want So it? you'll have your handle span from the existing knob hole mm -hmm. all the way across into another one right mm -hmm. here, center. Mm -hmm. uh, and then this what I'll do is I'll have that screwed onto a um, kind of like a box that I'm going to make that goes back mm -hmm. and then inside of here there will be holes made for your mm -hmm. trash cans. Mm -hmm. So I do need to take one of your trash cans okay. with me. You get to work. I'm excited. Alright, see you soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Well, that's the plan at least. Now let's see if we can make it happen. One of the first things I noticed was that the trash cans weren't rectangular. Instead, they had curved sides, which meant I'd have to get a little creative to make them fit nicely. So I cut off a piece of construction paper and then traced the top of the trash bin onto it. Then I cut out that shape and then I folded it into fourths. And using a framing square and a T-square, I could measure the width and the depth of the trash bin just below the top lip. Now this is the size that I'll need to make the hole for it to sit in. Since the folded up tracing was small enough, I could fit it onto my scanner. And then I could send that image over to my computer. Then I used a graphics program to replicate it a number of times and then I built out the shape that I needed. This technique really worked out well because it assured that the shape was perfectly symmetrical. Once I had it looking right, I could import it into some CNC software, scale it down just a bit, and then export the G-code to use on my machine. I made a test cut to make sure I had things sized right, and once I had it looking good, I went ahead and I cut some maple veneered plywood to use for the project piece. Now since I don't want to accidentally cut into my work surface, I used some spacers and I raised up the panel. And then I got it all clamped down securely to the table. I get the bit zeroed in. Fire up the spindle. And kicked off the job. Now, as far as CNC cuts go, this was about as easy as they get. It's basically just cutting two holes in a half-inch sheet of plywood. 
and to keep the inner piece from coming loose, I had it leave several tabs on the bottom of the cut just to keep it attached. So once it was all finished, I could unclamp it and then I just knocked out the centers. Then using a utility knife, I could trim off each of the remaining bits of the tabs and get it nice and smooth. Then on the table saw, I could trim the piece down to its final width and length, and then cut out several more pieces to be the front and sides of the box. I taped the pairs together and I cut them to length at the miter saw so that both pieces would be exactly the same. Now at this point, I could start to put the pieces together. And to do that, I just ran a bead of glue down the edges, lined them up just right, and then popped in a few brads to hold them in place until the glue dries. I certainly don't need to do any fancy joinery on this thing. It's literally for trash. But joints will be just fine. I cut the sides just a smidge too long, so I used my router to flush everything up. And then I could take a little bit of sawdust, squirt in some wood glue, and mix up a batch of Fisher's Shop Chewy Granola Bites, which incidentally is also fantastic at filling nail holes. Everything gets a good sanding, and then a couple coats of paint. Once it had completely dried, I could then install the drawer slide rails. I just spaced them in, pre-drilled, and screwed them into place. And because there's no walnut in this build, I made sure to include at least one flathead screw for you all. Next, I needed to make some spacers that will let the drawer slides be flush with the edges of the cabinet face. I cut them out on the table saw and then planed each one down until I had them at just the right thickness. Each one got some mounting holes drilled in and countersunk and then I was ready to gather everything up and head back over to my parents house. The first thing to do was to remove the old trash can hardware and the old hinges. Going in. Then I mounted each of the spacer boards inside the cabinet. Wow, that's quite close quarters. Yeah. Can you come in here? And yeah, help? I'll come in. <laughs> <laughs> Just move over a little bit, okay? All right. All right, let's do the other one. Could you hurry up? <laughs> <laughs> Where? Right here. Did I just put my drill? Oh, it's right here. Right in front of you. Gosh, Mom. Yeah. Mom, I'm sweating. Okay. I should not be sweating. <laughs> <laughs> With those in, I could then put in the drawer slides. All right, let's... See if it fits. Perfect. <sighs> Look at that. Perfect, yeah. Nice. Oh yeah. Okay. That is great. Now we gotta mount the cabinet face. By clamping it onto the front of the box, I could pull it out and then fasten it on from behind. Thank you. Now. Yeah, just so they don't come through the front. Yeah. Okay. I measured, so okay. they shouldn't. All right. If they do, then uh, 
it's then it's fifty percent off. <laughs> <laughs> You and your cleaning. I know. Oh my gosh. Fingerprints. Should be 50% off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Now to mount the handle, I reused the original hole and then drilled out a second one on the other side of the face. And once that was tightened on, it was done. There we go. Mm -hmm. How's that? Perfect. Perfect. Yep. All right. Yeah. Uh, well, it's, it's absolutely perfect. Well, let's load it up with trash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that should be a lot easier to throw away your trash now. It is. So much better. Should we try it? Yeah. It's yeah. not working. <laughs> <laughs> Must be some error. Perfect fit. Well, it was a simple little project, but it turned out to be a great kitchen upgrade for my mom. She sure loves it, and I'm happy that I could do that for her. Trash? You're done good, honey. Oh, thanks. You're done good. Thanks. Happy to help. Watch this. Boom! It yeah, works. Right. It sure does. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. Thanks All for right. watching, and we'll see you next time. And then make sure you punch in your social security number. Huh? <laughs> <laughs>